President von der Leyen will lay out the Commission's priorities in the State of the Union debate. MEPs will quiz her to make sure the EU is delivering on key challenges like the economy, energy and climate change. Meanwhile, MEPs expect the Commission to keep on working on proposals for EU reform from the Conference on the Future of Europe. Let's be loyal to the outcome of the Conference. Let's implement its conclusions as soon as possible because it's the will of the people and let the will of the people prevail. Parliament will continue to support Ukraine as MEPs vote on further measures to reduce EU dependence on Russian energy and ensure the green transition. They include new rules on renewables and energy efficiency, greener buildings and infrastructure for clean vehicles. Sooner rather than later, we have to cut ourselves off our toxic dependency of Russian fossil fuels. Our work will continue. MEPs are set to greenlight a single charger for digital devices, like mobile phones, tablets and headsets. They want to reduce electronic waste and improve consumers' lives. Parliament will vote on the Artificial Intelligence Act. MEPs want the EU to be a global leader in new tech for business and public services, while ensuring democratic rights and freedoms are protected. MEPs are also set to vote on landmark workplace legislation to promote gender equality on company boards and guarantee fair minimum wages. Adequate minimum wages must ensure a decent standard of living, uh, reduce wage inequalities and contribute to upward social convergence. Finally, in December, Parliament will award the 2022 Sakharov Prize to honour people who defend human rights and freedom of thought around the world.